Hey guys, it's Halsey, and this is my exclusive Most Aggressive Live Ask Me Anything chat. Thanks to my main man, Romeo, for having me on tonight to talk about without me. But first, I'm going to answer some questions from fans that you guys sent in for my Ask Anything chat. Mia from Toronto says, my name is Halsey and I blank. My name is Halsey and I make really good cannolis. Jasmine from Rancho Cucamonga wants to know, who's the biggest jokester in my family, me, Savion, or Dante? Hands down, Savion. And he can dish it out, but he cannot take it back. This man will make fun of anyone for anything, usually me. Always me, actually. But if you try to joke with him back, he gets so sensitive. And if you're watching this, you know it's true, Savion. I just busted you live on the radio in front of the whole world. Ultimate payback. Anna from Portland wants to know, what's your favorite dessert? This is a toss-up because I'm a super, super sweet tooth. I'm, I'm a dessert fanatic. I love cheesecake, I love red velvet cake, cannolis, rainbow cookies, which are like an old Italian delicacy that are like my absolute favorite. I say delicacy, but they're really just tiny little rainbow cookies that you eat at weddings and stuff. Uh, chocolate chip cookies, chocolate chip muffins, bread pudding, uh, and, and any candy ever, really, honestly. If it's sweet, I'll eat it. I have the biggest sweet tooth. Kim from Cleveland wants to know, when you hear yourself on the radio, does it sound like the little voice in your head? This is such an awesome question because no, it does not at all, ever. Um, hearing your own voice back is the most bizarre thing of all time because you're like, is that really what I sound like? And being a musician, you have to hear the sound of your own voice a lot. Think about when you're recording your voicemail message and you're like hey it's Ashley I'm not here right now leave a message at the tone and then you record it like 50 more times because you hate how you sound that's what it's like being a musician just all the time basically Eden from Wyckoff wants to know any tips for people trying to get into astrology PS I love you Eden I also love you if you're trying to get into astrology a really good place to start is with your natal chart and you need to know the place you were born the time you were born um, and your name and birthday, um, but there are three main signs that people need to know about. The first is your sun sign, your moon sign, and your rising, which is your ascendant. Um, and they all tell you different parts of you. One of them is kind of the way you are projected to other people. One of them is the way you are when you're home alone with yourself. And one of them is kind of like the defense mechanisms that you use when you're in emotional situations. It's very complicated. It's like deciding you're suddenly into basketball and needing to learn every team and every player in the history of decades. But if you're really committed to it and you want to learn, astrology is very, very cool, very interesting, and very complex. I am a Libra sun, Cancer moon, and Scorpio rising. City from Mombasa wants to know what my workout routine is. She says, your body is amazing. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. Um, I've recently gotten into boxing. Um, which I've been doing for the past couple months, and it's really therapeutic for me. Uh, it's a very intellectual sport. You have to be very, very cognizant of what your opponent is doing at all times. Um, but it's also very instinctual um, because it keeps you on your feet, but you think with your body and with your mind at the same time. So it's a really, really good exercise for autonomy. Um, and it really, really makes you feel kind of one with yourself. And also when you block a really good hit, you feel like a champion and like you could fight Mike Tyson. Just don't fight Mike Tyson. Because if you're anything like me, you'll lose immediately. Sophia from Italy wants to know, have you ever thought about recording a documentary? Love from Italy. Love back to Italy. I was just there a couple weeks ago for my birthday and I got to go all over and visit parts of Italy I've never been to before. And it was so cool to see the places where my ancestors are from uh, and I ate so much food, which contributed to the previous question about my workout routine. A lot of carbs in Italy. I've thought about recording a documentary before, and I think that you guys will probably see a movie about my life a lot sooner than you think. Um, I would really like the opportunity for everyone to know my story my way, um, from my perspective. Uh, and I think it's a pretty cool story to tell. That's the best thing about living the dream you've always wanted to live since you were a little kid. There's no movie that's better than your real life. Ella from Harrisburg said, if you randomly emptied out your pockets, what would you usually find? Um, you would find a 
chapstick or a lip gloss of some kind. Um, a receipt probably because I shop a lot. Um, probably some kind of gum wrapper or garbage wrapper because I'm like really adamant about not littering so I keep everything in my pockets all the time. And eyelash glue for emergencies. For eyelash emergencies. That's all the questions that I have for you guys today. Thank you for hanging out and learning a little bit more about me. I'm sorry that I did not have my sleeping pup in my arms this time, but he is home and he is in bed and I did not want to disturb him. Also, thanks to Most Requested Live and of course Romeo for having me and for all the support. This new song is called Without Me. Enjoy it.